the snatcher book. Who's stealing all the stories? The Snatcher Book A story by Helen Doherty Illustrated by Thomas Doherty One dark, dark night in Burrow Down A rabbit named Eliza Brown Found a book and settled down When a Snatcher Book flew into town In every house and every bed, a bedtime book was being read. Tales of dragons spitting flames, witches playing spooky games. Pirates on the seven seas, princesses trying to sleep on peas. And every child in every bed listened hard to each word said. Eliza Brown, at number three, was re reading quite contentedly. Her curtains opened just a chink. She barely had a chance to blink. Her storybook just disappeared. Eliza found that very weird. The little owls on Mommy's lap were quite surprised to hear a tap against their bedroom window glass. Tap, tap. The noise was came really fast. Before they even looked around, the book was gone without a sound. The wind blew wild across the sky. The smallest squirrel heard a cry. What's that? she whispered to her dad. But then, and this was very bad, was really bad. Before they had a chance to look, she lost her very favorite book. And so it went, night after night. Books disappeared from left and right. Five books here, six books there. The shelves began to look quite bare. And burrow down the rumor spread of book thieves, book thieves under every bed. Eliza Brown, at number three, was keen to solve the mystery. She planned one night to lie in wait and use a pile of books as bait. Long hours passed without a peep. She nearly fell, she nearly fallen fast asleep, when suddenly Eliza heard a flap of wings. A bat? A bird? Eliza saw a shadow loom, enormous, right across her room. What kind of monster could it be? Eliza thought, you don't scare me. And yet her heart was beating fast. She would have had she would have to face the thief at last. She threw the window open wide and shouted to the thing outside, Stop stealing all our books right now. Just give them back. I don't care how. I'm sorry, came a little voice. I really am. I had no choice. Eliza looked down in surprise. She couldn't quite believe her eyes. So who are you and what's your name? The creature hung its head in shame. He mumbled with a mournful look. I'm just a little snatcher book. Eliza nodded solemnly. She sat the creature on her knee. You just can't come and help yourself to every book on every shelf. A tear rolled from the creature's eye, and soft, softly he began to cry. I know it's wrong, but can't you see? I've got no one to read to me. Eliza sighed. You look so sad. If he just had a mom or dad to read him stories every night, well, then he might behave all right. That what that very night they hatched a plan. And so the snatcher book began. To give back all the books he picked, Eliza was very strict. Then trying hard to prove himself, he stacked them neatly on each shelf. And when he made all made his full amends, Eliza called on all her friends. 
and told them how he worked all night to turn a wrong into a right. And now each night in Burl Down, as darkness falls upon the town, in every house and every bed, a bedtime book is being read. And if you take a closer look, you might just see the snatcher book perched happily on someone's bed, listening hard to each word said. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the snatcher book.